Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Yo Yo Man with Barnsley. In today's episode we've come back a little bit earlier than we first anticipated. We're going to be facing Redden and Cardiff in today rather than QPR. As uh, the way thing we are playing at the minute, <laughs> it's not great. So following on from our four defeats in a row, we stopped the rot and ended up drawing 1-1 away from home against Charlton. Johnny Williams had put them in front 27 minutes in. But Konstantinos Mavropanas equalised in the 81st minute to give us a point in a game where we should have been out of sight. We should have won this one easy. Finally, back to winning ways. A 3-0 home win against Sheffield Wednesday. Malik Wilkes, Arjan van der Heerde and Corley Woodrow with the three goals for us. The 4th minute, the 29th minute and the 49th minute respectively in a game we dominated. And then at home against Birmingham, we got beat 1-0. Absolutely dreadful, dreadful performance. Ivan Sunjic putting them in front 37 minutes in. They got a man him himself sent off in the 86th minute. And we still weren't able to take advantage of the extra man in the final few minutes of the game or so. But as you can see, we played dreadfully. We then went away from home against top of the league Fulham where we managed to draw 2-2. Two, two. They went in front 11 minutes in. Rian Brewster equalised shortly after that. We then went 2-1 up in front through a McGee in a penalty. But they equalised in the 74th minute and... It was a fortunate draw. We then had a home tie against Middlesbrough and got beat 1-0. Brit Asombolonga got them the goal in the 7th minute and we couldn't break them down and create the opportunities needed to get the goal back and we fell to another defeat. And finally, away from home against Hull, we drew 1-1. Malik Wilkes scored for us to take us in the lead in the 53rd minute. They equalised almost immediately through Norbert Balog and it We've been dreadful recently. We really, really have. If we take a look at the schedule here, ever since that January, we have only won one game in the previous 10. And it's been pretty, pretty poor. How many games we've lost there? Six with three draws and one win. Absolutely terrible. We are still within touch and distance of the playoffs. We currently sit in seventh position on 57 points, level one points with Wigan. And we are we're well within the shout of still making the playoffs if we're able to turn our poor form around but as things stand at the minute 10 games in are a really really bad run of form i don't quite see it but that takes us to the games today one of which is against redden who currently sit in fourth position and then maybe a winnable game against cardiff who sit in 18th but again no game is winnable at the moment at least you know you can't say oh i'm gonna win that one because we're performing poorly against teams at the top teams in the middle and teams at the bottom so this is going to be the lineup for today's game. Unfortunately, our first choice keeper, Radlinger, is injured. So Collins comes in. Uh, Williams comes in at right back as Kavari is struggling for fitness. Diaby, Mavropanas and Albanos uh, complete our defence. And as you see, that should be a really, really strong defence. But ever since they've come in, we've been absolutely dreadful. Uh, Moat and McGean in the centre of midfield. Wilkes, Bruno Costa, Jordan Ibe and Rian Brewster gets a start deal over Corley Woodrow. Neither of them are in a particularly good run of form. But um, I've got to start one of them. <laughs> and Redden come out with a 5-2-1-2. A very, very defensive yet could potentially be devastating uh, in attack formation. They are obviously doing very, very well in the league. Sitting in fourth position. One of our main contenders for the playoffs. And if we want any sort of hope of potentially getting into the playoffs by the end of the season. We need to get a result today. Simple as that. First highlight of the game. Four minutes in. It's Redden. Oh my God, Collins. You absolute... Hero, why hasn't he been starting every game? That was an amazing double save. Uh, Puskas should be getting two goals. Well, at least one goal. But he had two opportunities to get that goal. And it didn't quite come to fruition. Now, seeing how the match starts are going in the first 20 minutes or so. Redden are dominant. So we're going to go to a more cautious team mentality. Come off our usual attacking. And see if we can get into this game a little bit more. As Bruno Costa whips the ball in. It's cleared by the Redden defence. Moat plays the ball to the left-hand side for Albanoz. Who whips the ball in. Rian Bruce is there. He hits the woodwork, and that's been the story of our uh, past 10 games or so. We're just really unclinical. We're just not putting our chances away whatsoever, and our defence has become leakier and leakier as games go on. Another highlight now, 35 minutes in, a beat has played in over the top, and he's absolutely... Uh, I mean, uh, it's, it's all well and good when things are going well, but... Um, things aren't going well for us at the minute. Jordan O'Beater with his fourth goal of the season... Getting uh, an assist from Pelé, as of course he does. And that is a hell of a finish. Brad Collins is very far out from his goal there, but he nearly gets his hand over, but not quite. Another highlight now, a beater on this left-hand side for Redden. 
The ball is switched, but Albanoz gives the ball to John Swift, and Jao was played in. Was that a challenge there or a strike? I have no idea. But again, I know it's a bit doom and gloom at the minute with the sort of form we are in. But we are so far above expectations, it's not even funny. Um, obviously, the first half of the season was tremendous. And maybe this is just the natural um, rebalancing of how we should actually be playing. And the sort of level we should actually be at in terms of the league position. But um, it's always disappointing when you think you've improved in January. And you haven't really. We'll lower the tempo a bit in this game. Um, try and keep our foot in the ball and try and get into it a little bit more in terms of possession. But Redden were very, very dominant in that first half. And it's going to take a big change from us to be able to turn this around. As Moat finds Bruno Costa. Tries to whip the ball in. Williams does though. Jordan I was back post, but it gets cleared. And it looks like it's going to be a Redden counter-attack. Swift sets away Zhao. He's in behind the defence. He's got a tight angle. Good save by Brad Collins to keep things at 1-0. Wilkes is having an absolute dreadful game out on that right hand side. I might as well start giving Ian van der Heerde the start. You know, he might not be as good as Wilkes right now, but he could potentially be a lot better. So we're going to have to start giving him game time and sacrificing, well, some performances, even though we haven't had any performances. And now we are. Andy Yedum gets the goal for Redden, but putting them 2 0 up. And it's probably the game out of sight now. We are not in this whatsoever. And it's a John Swift corner that's played in. Zhao with a strike. And that's a crazy header. I'm very, very surprised he's onside, but he must have been. And despite our goalkeeper performing very, very well, we are still 2-0 down. A corner from us, though. And Mavro Panas gets his second goal of the season and gives us a little bit of a lifeline. Redden 2, Barnsley 1. Um, a set-piece goal. We're gonna, we'll are gonna, we always take them every day of the week. Bruno Costa with it. And let's skip this replay and see how things go for the final 20 minutes. 18 minutes to go. There is another highlight. And we are currently in possession in midfield. Jordan Ibe switching the play to Van der Heerde on this right-hand side. Williams is there to support. He gets dispossessed, though, by Omar Richards. And now Redden can probably do something with it themselves. They seem like a pretty tidy outfit. But Jordan Ibe's in behind. Go on, son, put this away. Oh, he can keep his saves. That could have been could have been the point. Jordan Ibe isn't playing particularly well. I don't see the point in keeping him on. So we'll get Bicho on. We'll put Bruno Costa out on that left-hand side. And put Bicho in the middle. And with only five minutes, so oh, there's a highlight. Moat with a free kick. He goes for goal. What a save by the keeper. He pushes it onto the bar. The ball's still alive. No, it's not. It's dead. Rian Brewster's going to come off for the final few minutes. We'll bring on Corley Woodrow. See if he can make any sort of a difference with five minutes to go. Any highlights? Nah, it's not going to be. Here's the final highlight of the game. It's red and oh, nearly go 3 1 up. A disappointing 2 1 defeat here. Not so much. As the result is 2-1, but how the performance went, we weren't. We were outclassed by Redden here. It was like a Premier League team versus a Championship team, um, and we kind of complain about the result whatsoever. And there we have it: Redden two, Barnsley one. A disappointing defeat, um, one that really, really does put our season into perspective. I think we need to now just play out the rest of this season. You know, maybe we'll make it in the playoffs. Probably don't at this point, but. Um, I know it's a bit, a bit doom and gloom, but unless we rapidly change form, uh, 11 games now where we have really, really haven't looked like the same sort. I mean, look at the look at the performances in the early part of the season, particularly in the likes of November and December. We were rampant. We were absolutely fantastic. But um, we haven't had a run like this so far as Barnsley manager, and it's taken some getting out of. We've got Cardiff next anyway, so I'll see you there. So I've submitted the team for today against Cardiff. They are one of the teams who are struggling uh, the most about um, in the bottom of the championship. So being at home, you would expect us to be able to get a win here. Uh, hopefully it's a sign of things to come if we can perform well. We have dropped um, McGee and back into a deeper role to see if that would help uh, with our defensive stability. But at the same time, I've sort of doubled down going on the attack. I've pushed our wing backs to be more attacking. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, Wilkes is now an inside forward rather than an inverted winger. I've dropped Jordan Ibe as he's playing dreadfully. And we're given Van der Heerde the start on the left wing. Cardiff are a pretty defensive side. Come without us with a 4-4-1-1. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully our boys can show the early season form and get back to winning ways. First highlight of the game, it's a corner to Cardiff. Wilkes manages to get clear. And I and Van der Heerde can bring it away down this left-hand side. Can he do anything with it? No, he can't. Or maybe he can. He's won the ball back. 
It gets sliding challenging, but Rian Brewster nips in and gets his ninth goal of the season, putting us 1-0 up. A nice little assist there by the Cardiff defender. We will take that all day. We are not complaining. We will take a goal any which way it comes. Van der Heerde does well to win the ball back, but he ends up losing it again somehow. But uh, Rian Brewster is quick off the mark and gets his ninth goal of the season. Free kick for Cardiff on the edge of our box. <sighs> we just kind of catch a break right now. We really can't. There it is. There's the goal. Equalising in Flint with his third goal of the season. Barnsley 1, Cardiff 1. Bruno Costa with a free kick for us. It's played back post. Wilkes is there. He heads just over. I think this team's on holiday, to be quite honest with you. I think that's what's happening. Cavaria coming down this right-hand side. Gets dispossessed, but we keep possession with McGeehan. Can he pick anything, any decent pass out? He finds Rian Brewster's in behind. He crosses it in. Van der Heerde's back post. And Van der Heerde gets his second goal of the season. Rian Brewster with the assist this time. And Barnsley go 2-1 up just before half time. We needed that. Just to lift my spirits more than anything else. Rian Brewster brings it down brilliantly. A nice cross to the back post. The Cardiff defenders can't get their foot on it. And Barnsley go 2-1 up. Well, we're winning after the first half. We can't ask for more than that. We kick off for the second. No changes required. It's a pretty even game in terms of the match stats. So, um, to get the win here, we're going to probably have to up our game a little bit. Wilkes on this right-hand side. Passes back to McGeehan. Back to Bruno Costa. We're knocking it about quite nicely. Albanos on this left-hand side. Drives into the box. Gets it back post. Wilkes is there. Unless that's offside. It's not. Malik Wilkes gets his 16th goal of the season. His first goal in absolutely ages. And he puts us 3-1 up. Can we have three points? Yes, please. 53 minutes in now. There is another highlight. We win the ball in an advanced position. And Van der Heerde receives it on this left-hand side. Gets dis challenged again. I was wondering if that was going to be another slide challenge assist. That wasn't the highlight, surely not. So something else is happening right now. Bruno Costa finds Van der Heerde again on the left-hand side. He's getting a lot of the ball. He tries to find uh, Wilkes in the box. It's a bit of a poor cross, to be honest with you. But Wilkes is in behind. Hits it straight at Etheridge. With 15 minutes to go, I'm happy with how the boys are playing right now. I'm not making any changes until pretty late on. Bruno Costa with a free kick. Ball played in. is cleared by Flint. Wilkes can keep the ball alive though. Don't lose it there. He plays the back post. Van der Heerde is there. And Iron Van der Heerde. Is he offside? He is not offside. His third goal of the season. His second goal of the game. And that makes it 4-1. Absolutely fantastic. Now we haven't performed particularly well. But we're getting the results and we're scoring the goals. Wilkes. Playing it in back post. Van der Heer is all left on his own at the back. And he gets the goal. That surely seals it now. Another highlight now. Bruno Costa with a free kick. It's back post to Mavro Panas. And Rian Brewster slides in. Oh, oh, what's that? Has he give it? He has give it. <laughs> I thought the referee had blew for a free kick. Rian Brewster with his 10th goal of the season. We are now winning 5-1. This could be the turnaround. Don't get excited. Stop getting your hopes up. Because... You know how they can dash them quite easily. We'll look to make our changes now. We'll bring on Jordan, Will Jordan Williams for Cavaria. We'll bring on Ibe for Wilkes. And what else will we do? We'll bring on Danny Pelinos at that left-back role. Just to keep things fresh. And with three minutes to go, there is another highlight. Pelinos. Pinillos, actually. That's his name, Sam. Um, on the left-hand side, switching the play to Jordan Williams. McGeehan plays a bat to Moat. You've got loads of space on that left-hand side. Moat, McGeehan, somebody. Uh, plays it to Brewster. Van der Heerde brings it down. Can he get his hat trick? He can. Arjen van der Heerde playing on the left gets his hat trick. His fourth goal of the season. Another assist from Rian Brewster. Them two seem to have combined pretty well today. And uh, Brewster with two goals. Van der Heerde with three. You can't complain with that. And despite him playing in an unfamiliar role on that left hand side, he has done absolutely fantastically. Who's Jordan Ibe? And there we have it. Barnsley six. Cardiff won. Now that's an undeserved uh, level of win. We I think we deserved the win, but six is pretty pretty nuts. We will take it all day though. We've had plenty of games where we should have got a point or three, and then we haven't been able to capitalise. So to be able to be clinical a day is always nice to see. So after them two fixtures, then we currently sit in the eighth position, two points away from QPR in the playoff spots. So it's still a hope. It's still a hope, you know. We're not out of it yet. There's still nine games to go in the league season. And I would love to get the playoffs. I wish I'd picked the QPR game now because that would have meant so much. But we're going to have to give that one a skip. Um, in the running, what we're going to do. I, I think I'm just going to play it through. We'll, we'll save the... I'll, potentially it could be Leeds if we might be out of it. 
But otherwise, it's going to be Forest and Brentford in the next episode to wrap up this season and see if we can qualify for the playoffs or not. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.